In this video, I'm going to be combining the power of a Canva landing page website with JotForm so that we can put an embedded form right inside our landing page on Canva so that when someone fills it out, they'll go right into MailChimp. And I'm going to show you how coming up next. Hello there, my name is Larry Snow, and yes, in this video, we're going to be combining the power of Canva and JotForm to make this embed option work in a Canva landing page website. I'm very excited to show you how to do this. Now, if you're not familiar with Canva, Canva is a suite of tools that will help you design anything that you need. If you want to know more, I put a link in the description, not an affiliate, just a link right to Canva. I just love this tool so much. I use it daily almost for everything that I create. So your first step is to create a landing page in Canva. Go into the Canva dashboard here, your homepage, and you search for landing page websites as I've done here previously. Here you have a ton of templates to choose from to build a landing page website. And so this is gonna be a one pager that goes through, hey, here's this, and here's how it can solve your problems, and here are some testimonials, and hey, this is how awesome this is, and go sign up now type of thing. So I look through here and I came up with this option right here. I'm not gonna be designing it in this video. I'll leave that up to you. So how this worked out was I was searching for embed Canva in Google and I was getting a whole bunch of different results. I was getting something called iFramely and I was like, oh, maybe an iFrame. So with Canva, they have a ton of integrations called apps. And so I went to the apps tab and I searched for iFrame. Nothing came up. And I did a little bit more research and I come to find out that iframes do not work in landing page websites or websites in Canva. You can put them in, you can put them in the code, but they won't be visible to uh, anyone once it goes live. So my next step was to see, well, can I embed anything? Because I know JotForm has embed, I know MailChimp has embed, but MailChimp gives you the code. So but maybe that, that, that was a scenario that I could work out. So I did another search in apps for embed. And yes, they have an embed option. So I clicked on that integration and it says paste a web link. So MailChimp does give you a sign up form URL that you can share out. So I said, all right, let me test that. I'll paste it in that wpearl.com link and I'll click on add to design. Nope, you can't embed that URL. So enter JotForm because I know JotForm has embedded options. So let's go over to JotForm. Here we are in a blog contact form that's currently on my website. And if I were to go to publish settings, it has an embed option right here, but I'm getting code and I know code won't show. There's source code, there's iframe code again. So on a whim, I went to the quick share tab. I copied this URL, just like I did with the MailChimp one to see if that would work as an embed in this embed integration in Canva. So I pasted in the code, I clicked on add to design, and it shows up. This is amazing to me. I can't believe that this worked. I'm so happy. <laughs> so I can use Canva landing page websites for sign up for MailChimp. So we can click on this, we can make it smaller and make it fit into a certain area. But I've already done that. So let me just delete this and I'll show you where I placed it. Let me just scroll down here to the bottom on our fictitious landing page. And right here is the subscribe form. The second piece to this is to connect it to MailChimp. So let's go back over to JotForm. I'll show you some of the other settings that I have set up here, and then we're gonna connect it to MailChimp. So let's go under settings. In the emails, I have a notification that's sent to me, and I have an autoresponder sent to the person who's filling out that form. Additionally, I set up a thank you page, so anyone who fills out the form will be auto-forwarded to my website, and this is the page that they'll arrive on. So far, so good. Now let's connect this form to MailChimp. To do that, we go into integrations, we search for MailChimp, there it is right there. We're going to authenticate, log into MailChimp, do the two-factor authentication, and then we'll come back and proceed. Our next step is to select the list that we want this person added to. 
We'll select our strategic marketing solutions list. And we're not going to do any of the interest groups, but we do want to do static tagging. Static tagging means use the tag that's already been created in MailChimp so that we can add it to anyone who fills out this form. So we're going to use the contact tag. Now we are adding people who fill out a contact form to our list. The people who have the contact tag will not receive a marketing email. Be care very careful with that type of stuff because you don't want to get in trouble with MailChimp and you don't want to get in trouble with any GDPR requirements. Okay. Other options is to match additional fields. We will add the first name or full name, I should say, and we will select the matching full name in MailChimp. Here's an option that JotForm provides for you is send contacts to MailChimp. What we can do here is we can say only if the user agrees to subscribing to this newsletter, they will go to MailChimp. Additionally, we want to update existing contacts and add existing contacts to MailChimp. Additionally, we could send out an opt-in email, but we'll leave that blank for now. So with everything good, we're going to click on complete integration. Then we're going to click on finish. And so our settings are done. So then we go to publish. So on the publish tab, we've now published our form. We can now go back over to Canva and then test it all out. So go back down to our form. And because we added in that extra subscribe to the newsletter, our submit button is now off of the page. So we'll have to shrink this down a little bit more and it does get very tiny. So that's one of the drawbacks of this setup. But if we just do a slight adjustments here, maybe we can make all this work. That's a little bit better, but just be conscious of that. You can't really go in here and edit the form. You could try to make it a little bit smaller or in job form, you could make it horizontal. So it goes across the screen versus down. But again, this was just a test. With that, let's go ahead and click publish. Now, because I've made it published this previously, I've already done a URL for my landing page and you'll have an option to use a, a free domain through Canva or one of your own domains. I used a free Canva domain. I'm going to click continue. And one of the options that you have is to change the title of your landing page. Mine's just called subscribe because that's all I can think of at the time. And you can put in a website description. We're going to click on publish. It's going to be preparing your design. You're going to get a URL to click on to go to your landing page. Here it is right here. We'll click on that, scroll down to the bottom and test out our form. So we're going to give it a name, full name email address, message, hello, math challenge. And here is our new option. Yes, subscribe me to this newsletter. Select that so that we know that it's connected to MailChimp and that I should get that contact tag added to my name. Click submit, it will redirect to my thank you page. In this case, contact submission, letting you know that I've received your message. Now let's go over to MailChimp and see if my contact information got updated with that tag. Here's the contact information. It did update my name to full name because we did check update existing contacts and it added the contact tag. So now you can go and create a landing page in Canva and use JotForm as your embedded form so that anyone who fills it out will then get connected to your email marketing provider. In this case, MailChimp. Thanks so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you in the next video.